Welcome back everybody to another week of GC Kids Online. I'm so excited to be back with you again this week. I have two awesome songs, You Are Good and All I Need. So make yourselves lots of room and let's get started. You're my calm in the chaos My peace in the war You speak light into darkness You tell me I'm yours Only you, Jesus, are in control You are my every heartbeat Every breath that I breathe You're all I need You're all I need You speak life, sing your love over me You're all I need You're all I need Caught up in your captivating Never fell in love You are my every heartbeat Every breath that I breathe You're all I need You're all I need The love of a father The strength of a king The blood of a savior
great. So today we have been learning about our big picture question, which is, what is our mission as Christians? And we have been learning that our mission is to make disciples of all nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right, you guys? So today, our story point is that the gospel unites all kinds of people in love. So let's see what they have to say about that, you guys. Paul wrote a letter to the church at Corinth. Years after Paul helped start the church in Corinth, the believers there were facing problems. One problem was that the church was divided. The people did not always get along or agree about what was most important. The believers met in small groups and had different leaders. Some groups were arguing that their leaders were better than others. One person would say, I belong to Paul. Another would say, I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Peter, or I belong to Christ. Paul wanted this to stop. Is Christ divided? Paul asked. Of course not. Jesus came to bring people together as one body, brothers and sisters in God's family. Christians should not fight about which human leader has the most wisdom or strength. What is most important is the gospel. Paul said, The word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but it is the power of God to us who are being saved. God uses what seems foolish to the world, that is, God, the Son giving up his life for us, in order to bring salvation to the world. Paul also reminded the church that believers cannot boast about themselves or other people. No human is as wise or powerful as God. When Paul preached, he didn't use fancy words so that people would think he was smart. He simply shared the good news about Jesus. Everyone in the church is united around Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. He is God's wisdom and power. When we remember the gospel, we can live in unity with others. Other things, like immaturity and foolishness, cause division in the church. Paul wrote his letter to help the believers in Corinth. He told them many things about how to follow Jesus. Believers should live in such a way that people see them and know they belong to Jesus. Paul told the believers in the Corinthian church to come together because of the gospel. He reminded them that Jesus saves sinners. Because of Jesus and what he has done, believers can humbly come together as one body. All right, you guys, that was an awesome Bible story because if believers cannot agree about what the Bible says, how are they supposed to share it with non-believers? Right, you guys? And there, there are like little things that some people can interpret differently with the Bible or that they can get something different out of than someone else can, right? But it's it's all agreeable, it all makes sense, right, you guys? So they will be confused if, non if all of us Christians are saying something different about God, right, you guys? And just like I said last week, it's okay to agree to disagree, but with the majority of the Bible, you guys, there isn't much to interpret any further than what it says plain and simple, right in these words, right, you guys? These words right here, there isn't much to interpret, right? And just like I always tell you, it's important to remember that the stuff on earth does not matter when we get to heaven, right? And the writers of the Bible, right, God gave them the exact words to say in those, in that Bible, right, you guys? And no matter what, that was what needed to be said in that Bible, right? And so there's no need to compare and try to be above someone else with, in, and with like impure intentions of just wanting to be better than everyone ever, you know, right, you guys? So it's okay to want to be like, to want to win something, but we shouldn't want it so badly that it comes in between our relationship with God 
and it goes against what the Bible says, right? So we have to remember that God has given us each and every single gift that we have here on earth, right, you guys? And that we are all unique and different and special and loved equally in the kingdom of God, right? And that's what that's what the story point is, right, you guys? The gospel unites all kinds of people in love, right? Because we all love each other, we are all united and we all have to be kind and considerate and compassionate to each other, right? That's what Jesus did, so that's what we have to do, right? Because we want to be like Jesus. We want to walk the way that Jesus walked. And with that, we have our questions from kids. And Pastor Brian is going to answer the question. What should we do when we don't get along with other Christians? Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. Rachel from Logansport, Indiana asks, Another girl at my school is a Christian too, but we don't get along. What should I do? You know, as we answer this question, I, I think it's really helpful to think about why we get along with certain people and we don't with others. You know, one of the things is, is a lot of times we're drawn to people who are like us. They share similar interests, so maybe it's a sport. And if two people play the same game, say soccer, you're going to be drawn together because you have that in common or some other hobby. Maybe it's going to the same school, uh, being in the same class, living in the same neighborhood. There's so many different things that connect us. And so a lot of times, if somebody has that in common, we're drawn to them. And if somebody doesn't, we're not as drawn to them. So here's the thing, when you think about it, this friend of yours in school, Rachel, who you don't necessarily get along with, you share the most important thing in common, and that's Jesus. So I'd encourage you to do this. I would encourage you to focus on that in your friendship. Talk about where you guys go to church. Talk about your favorite Bible stories. Talk about Jesus. Talk about challenges you have of, of living for Him. And I think if you start to do that, it may feel weird at first, uh, uncomfortable, but if you start to do that, and you start to see you have this most important thing in common, I wouldn't be surprised if you started becoming good friends. But here's the other thing. It's even okay if you never become good friends. Uh, again, we can't be friends with everybody. As long as you guys are not unkind to one another, uh, as long as you're not adversarial, that's okay. You don't have to be best friends. And so if you try this and, and you just guys are just acquaintances from this point forward, that's okay. But I would encourage you, try to connect with that person. Uh, try to become friends because especially in a school environment, anytime we have the opportunity to be friends with another person who believes in Jesus Christ, that is so, so helpful. So I'd encourage you, give it your best effort, trust in God, see what he might do and see he might grow a great friendship for you with this other girl at school. So here's a question back for you. What are some ways you can show love like Jesus with anyone that you know? Wow, guys, I think Pastor Brian did a great job of explaining this. So having something in common with someone is amazing. And it's so awesome and most of the time it makes it easier to talk to them right and when it comes to other christians we can remember that the greatest thing that we have in common is christ right and talking about what you do have in common is important just like you would focus on let's say playing sports like you both play a sport or you both play a video game or you both dance or you both like to dress up in pretty dresses right whatever it may be you guys right and just like Pastor Brian said, we can't all be getting along and we can't be all friends with everybody, right you guys? And so if you end up not getting along, right you guys, that's okay. And as long as you're still friendly with that person, as long as you still have respect and you still aren't mean to that person, right you guys, that's okay. And it's okay to be friendly and just not be friends and not go out of your way to invite them over or go somewhere with them right you guys some people we just don't want to go with anymore 
go with them anywhere, right? Because we just don't have a lot in common. And that's okay, you guys. That is okay to do. God says that's okay to do. Do you think Jesus, I mean, they, they crucified him on the cross, right, you guys? He did not have much in common with those soldiers that did that to him, right, you guys? That is something that we need to remember. And that is all that I have for today, you guys. I hope you are having an awesome week. I miss you all so much. I can't wait until everything's over and life goes back to somewhat normal, right, you guys? I miss you all. I hope to see you soon. There are activity pages up on my website. 